What's happening, people? Off now to train some arms. Depends how I feel when I get there. Um, I wasn't going to train today because I didn't think I had time, but I do have time now. Also running off fuck all sleep again, as per normal. Yeah, very, very fucking tired. Had a good breakfast this morning. Got a decent amount of calories in me, so I think it's probably worth training. And tomorrow I want to hit quads. But we're going to train some arms today. I'll probably just try and get a very, very good pump rather than like fuck them up really bad. And then I've got work later, so. I'm going to try and get all this shit in before I go to work. But I am definitely going to have to stop and get an energy drink. Got a weight in today of 220 and a half pounds, so another quarter of a pound off, hopefully by tomorrow, I could get down to 220 flat, which would be fucking sick. Let's go and try some arms. What's happening, people? <clears throat> so, I've come in now, weighed in 220 this morning, feeling light, um, for me anyway, I know I'm not light, but getting there. So, bit of arms today. I feel like I'm gonna look like a fucking football manager, because I look gum. Uh, I got some cherry airwaves, it's good shit. Right, so, what are we doing? Just done 20 minutes of cardio. Um, in the heat at the minute, I like to do a bit of cardio first um, to get, it, get, get warmed up basically. Um, I find if I go straight into training in the heat, I just don't feel warmed up. Uh, it's kind of like when the temperatures are the opposites. Like if it's really cold, I need to warm up first, like cardio or something, or it takes me a long time to warm up. And then in the heat, I just feel like, I don't know, overly thing, but I find like you do a bit of cardio, sweat a bit, and then you cool down. If, if anyone's like looking through the days of training, you might notice that the day one of the cut is missing. Well, I filmed it, but it didn't record. Or it, the, when I was trying to put the files on my computer, they just, a lot of them corrupted. So it just looked a bit daft. So we're doing the same day again, we're doing arms. So today is day six, arms again. It's a Saturday today. The last uh, time I trained arms was a Friday because I want to train um, quads tomorrow. So what do I do for arms? I start out with more compound type movements. So my, for my first movement, I'm going to be doing uh, chin-ups. Very strict form, three sets of failure. So let's give it a go. So yeah, feels all right. Not feeling anything yet, obviously first set. So this is literally just to get my arms warmed up and then a little bit of back as well. Right, so next exercise dips, another sort of compound e arm, a compound e movement you can use for arms. Um, um, same again, I like to just do this stuff earlier. So, and also when you're doing these, if you're doing them for triceps, keep yourself as straight and upwards as possible. If you're trying to do chest, come over more. When you're upwards, keeps the tension on the triceps. When you go more forward, puts more tension on the chest. If you want to test this, I don't think it's 
I don't think you'd class it as a theory, but if you wanted to test this out, do a dip, do them straight up and then start leaning over. As soon as you start leaning over, it's going to get easy, easier, unless you're a very tricep dominant person, which I'm not. So So these are literally quick sets. I tend to do the chin-ups slower to put more concentration on the bicep because the chin-ups are movement where there is quite a compound style movement where if you're just trying to pull yourself up, you will lose, you will use mostly your back. If you take your time, you can concentrate on using your bicep. The way that you would do that is trying to keep your body as straight as possible. Um, as soon as you start turning, it puts your back in a position where you can pull with your back a lot harder. If you want to test that out, do a pull up, bring yourself back as far as possible and then pull and your back will engage a lot more. If you keep yourself straighter, it's more arms or biceps, or at least it activates your biceps a lot more. Right, I'm going to jump into another set. So I'm banging these up quick because I'm literally just doing these to activate the triceps and biceps get them warmed up and then I can start going into the more concentrated exercises right last set Right, so for the first bicep movement, um, I'm going to be doing seated curls unilaterally. So that means at the same time, um, with a big emphasis on the squeeze at the top and a decent stretch at the bottom as well. This one I find I work more on the squeeze rather than the stretch, even though you're in a position to get more of a stretch. But I don't know, that's just what I do. So. What I've been doing more recently is I had a, like probably about six months. Most of the start of the year, I trained like very, very to the T of like slow as fuck reps, not a lot of weight, like sort of injury prevention. Because I came from powerlifting, um, I have like issues with my rotator cuffs. Um, I was having really bad tendonitis in my left elbow. Um, and that comes back sometimes but and say my rotator cuffs flare up especially my left one um gets like very bad inflammation when i train shoulders and chest sometimes um so when i went into trying to do bodybuilding it i i went for like the safest style of training when it came to injuries. 
So I was doing everything light. Like I basically said, like, I'm giving up being strong. I'm not strong anymore. I'm not trying to be strong anymore. I'm just working on squeezing, squeezing, stretching, taking my time, feeling the movement, contracting the muscle. Um, and to a degree, like that is the correct way to build muscle, but also it's not the only way. So what I've, I've taken like inspiration from people who sort of give that, keep it simple, stupid, that kiss mentality where they say like, I just like to train heavy and I like to train hard. And in my opinion, if it feels good, if you're getting a pump, if you can feel the squeeze, if you're growing, if you're getting stronger, how can anyone say that that's not a fair way to train? So you get like a lot of people on the internet who are like form nerds and they'll say like, nah, 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 fucking slow, 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 contract, stretch. Well, I don't know. There's a million ways to get big. There's a million ways to train. So there's not one way. And if you feel like training differently, if you've, if you've been doing the same thing for a while and you want to do something different, do something different. So that's what I'm doing a little bit more of now where my first few sets when the weight is lighter, I'll have perfect form. And then as it gets heavier, I'll push to use more weight and the form will go slightly worse. So as you might see now for the next, um, the next couple sets, I might be, uh, my form will be good as in, I'll keep my position in correct, but I might be coming down a little bit quicker. I might get some cheat reps in, all that sort of stuff. Cause I just, at the minute, I want to push a bit more weight. And I think because I've been cutting all year and I'm cutting, yeah, until the end of the year, I'm looking forward to doing a mass in phase where once I've leaned down to where I want to be and I can do a proper bulk, a nice slow one, I just work on putting size on. Um, I'm looking forward to pushing strength and pushing myself rather than just maintain, which like, don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how I've done this year. And I'm sure by the end of the year, I would, I'll be very satisfied with how well I've done this year, but there's nothing like pushing a lot of weight and getting bigger and stronger. So that's what I'm feeling at the minute. And that's what I'm going to do. My hamstrings are feeling a lot less sore today. I just thought I would put the weights down for a second because my nose is itchy and there's nothing I hate more than starting a set and I start getting an itch on my nose, on my chin. So as you probably saw in that last set, my form got considerably worse by the end, but it felt good. The squeeze was good. It felt like, um, you know, I could feel a rip in, in the muscle and I can feel it's pumped. So who's to deny what I feel? So that was my attempt at being funny. Oh. <clears throat> For this next set, this might even be a top set now because as you saw, my form with the 12s was fucking shit at the end. It got heavy, so I'm going to do another set now. And if I have to, um, if I can't get to the point where I'm going to raise it, I can raise it anymore. I'm going to swing it up and bring it down as slow as possible. Um, if I fail quite far away from 12 reps, I'll do a drop set.
don't know how fucking bad that looked because I didn't move the camera down, but that was my top set. So now we're going to move on to some tricep, like, I think um, I call them like tricep dumbbell skull crushes or dumbbell skull crushes, but it's, it's laying down rather than sitting up because I don't really like the position like that. So I'll put the shit in place and show you. So I don't see many people doing these, but I gave them a go probably about a year and a half ago and I really like them. Um, I find they're really good for like the sort of breakdown of the tricep. You could, like you will get a pump, but it's not like the pump you'd get from a tricep pushdown. This feels like more of a, I don't know, the best way I can describe it is it feels like a compoundy movement for the tricep where like obviously it's not a compound, but it feels like it hits the whole tricep on like um, a breakdown basis rather than a pump. So you're like tearing the muscle, like br like break, like working the whole muscle rather than just pumping loads of blood into it. So yeah, I normally work up the stack with these until I can't get close to 12 and then I'll drop set. I stopped counting early into that set. I don't know why, I'm just an idiot. But it felt like 10 and it's not a big load. So uh, I'll come back to it when I go for the next set. Right, let's go for the next set. Straight in with the 12s. Ooh. I'm sweating like fuck. These shorts are also huge. I had these when I was like 23 stone. So you think like, the goal is to fill them out, but with like muscle, do you know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Right, so next exercise, ham curls. Going to do the same again, work up the stack. I'm going to start with 12s. <clears throat> I don't know why I started doing them um, one arm at a time because I normally do these both arm at a time and then once I get tired I'll start doing them one, one arm at a time um, but yeah that's what I did fuck knows so the first set was quite easy so I'm going to go straight into the second set So it definitely get more difficult now. Um, I think if I go up to 16s now, that'll probably be my top set. And then I will drop set and uh, start doing them one by one. Last set now. <coughs> I think it will be anyway. I've been getting through these quite quickly because I'm just trying to fucking pump, get as big of a pump as possible. And um, they're looking fairly pumped. Right, less posing, more fucking lifting. <coughs> Pretty cooked. So here I'm doing a superset uh, of push downs and then overhead push downs or uh, I don't know what would you call it. Basically like bent over push downs or whatever you call them, like behind the behind the head, behind the neck. Um, yeah, a friend of mine told me to start doing behind the neck ones. I'm not really a fan of being in this position. It's like feels shit on my shoulders, but um, super setting them where I tire them out doing these and then I do the behind the neck ones. Um, I don't mind it so much. Yeah. 
Next set now. Going up a little bit in weight. Right, last set now. Right, and then to finish off, I thought I'd do a few like sets going back and forth, um, doing just the cable, like curls with the cable. So I go back and forth between each arm. I'm not sure if this or a little bit heavy will be a better amount of weight, but I'm not even going to do these in sets. Just going to be back and forth. same but for triceps just keep going back and forth on the arm I don't know if this will be too light but I'll give it a crack mm -hmm. 